thinking I'm going to Dave and Buster. This nigga brought me to his house. Hello, welcome squad. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is a story time. I had put it on my Instagram and I had it up there for like what like an hour two hours and I had put the votes down wait I'm recording on my phone y'all if y'all wonder why I got this 6 s it's just like my phone I record my phone I listen to music you know everybody got that old phone that they do a lot of stuff on so yeah and I had put on my Instagram what video should I upload I said story time I said nighttime routine and I forgot what was the last what the last one was. Story time. Nighttime routine and some other thing. Everybody had voted story time. So I left it on there for another hour and 30 minutes. And story time was still in the lead. So I'm back with another video for story time. I never uploaded a video like that before on my channel. So uh hold up y'all. Let me get my brush. Hold up, hold up. Every girl got that brush like this. If you could relate, comment below. So, yeah. Story time. Here we go. Let's get right into the story time. And I got a few of these ideas from YouTube, y'all. I watch YouTube, but I love YouTube. So, yeah. So, um. Let's see. Story time. I got a couple of stories. So, I might do like two story time. I don't know. I'm going to just tell this one story real quick. So, once upon a time, I used to have this um, girl I used to hang with, and I'm not saying no names, okay? So, I used to have this girl I used to hang with, and me and her used to stay going out, like, every weekend, every week, like, go out, like, crazy. So, we used to go out and all that, like, you know, really enjoy ourselves, like, really, like, link out there all day like no we used to be out there so much that we know who gonna be out there we know what's gonna happen we know where to go like so that's how much we my lash don't mind my lashes y'all so that's how much we used to be out there because we know everything and we used to link with two guys and they was cool and y'all know you always gotta have that one friend that's gonna with the other partner for you so yeah she came through <laughs> She came through for real. Shout out to her. Um, so, yeah. Not that story. I'm not talking about that one. So, yeah. We was on Bourbon Canal. And, like. We was on Bourbon Canal. And, like. um. <sighs> Alright. They had this guy that he kept staring at shit like that. First, I thought it was kind of awkward and weird or whatever. And, like. um. <laughs> so, <laughs> So I thought it was weird and awkward and all that, but like, yeah, I thought he was so cute or whatever because he had Nan Brain shoes, Louis Vuitton and belt, all that other shit that like I know to this day that that don't mean shit. So he had all the designer shit on or whatever. He was eyeball eyeballing me and stuff like that. All that all that good shit that us females think we like until you meet the nigga. So, um, we walking, he grabbed me by my hand. I, I even know the first time. I should have listened. I should have had listened to myself. Always listen to your first mind. I should have even it the first time. Because I'm a bad. <laughs> period. Okay? Like, I'm a bad. Like, I don't. I'm bougie. I don't like being touched. I don't, I don't really like conversating like that. So, he did it the second time. Because my friend had walked well, past him the second time. She not paying attention. So, I follow him. I'm like, oh, why are we going back this way? So he grabbed me again. He was like, let me talk to you. Like, I'm not like these other little boys or whatever. Same story that I always tell that I don't give a fuck about no more. Stop telling me who you not like. And when I get to know you, you just like them. Period. So after that, we was talking or whatever. He was showing me all his money. You know, I'm young, so I thought it was a shit. I'm like, oh, okay. Showing me where he could take me. Showing me how he know all about New Orleans. He know all the nice hotels. And you know me and my friend, she like, bitch, fuck with him. Get his number. So you know me. I'm not like that. So I was like, okay, let me let me try to be like that. So I had got his number or whatever. 
all that. He was like, let's link and all that. You know me. I'm thinking it's too soon to link. I'm like, hold up. And you know, it always got that one friend. Bitch, you're crazy. Link with him. So I decided to link with him or whatever. And like, it was awkward. After on Canal and Bourbon, he had got my number. I text him. We text each other. First, we had a little, you know, groupy conversation on Canal and Bourbon. Was that Canal on Canal? Yeah, it was the same. Canal and Bourbon. Because we, we was on the corner. We had our little conversation. Conversation or whatever, waiting for our ride to come pick us up. Shout out to my cousin, because he used to bring us back and forth across the river. And... You know, I'm like, we get in a car. I'm like, ooh, I'm happy I met him. All the other et cetera bucking shit I was doing. Ooh, I'm so happy I met him. All the other shit that was nine calls for because to this day I'm not with him. Period. Because, like, he, that shit, he was lame. He was whack. Fuck what a nigga got in his pocket. Period. Fuck what he got and all that. He gonna throw this all in your face. Like, he gonna help you out and he ain't do shit. <laughs> so... All right, so we got in the call, dropped my friend off. I got dropped off. Because I think that night we was waiting for my cousin, I think. Or we had got an Uber because we used to get Uber and live back and forth across the river every weekend. So I got home, text him, whatever. He was like, he want to take me to this fancy restaurant or whatever. I think it was Dave and Buster. So I told my friend and I told my cousin. And he was like, ooh, fuck with it. My cousin was like, ooh, that's nice. And my friend was like, fuck with it. And I was like, um... I'm scared, girl. I just met him. He could kidnap me. I start turning on my location on my phone to send to my cousin. Like, I had my location on for my mom all that like, because I was scared because I don't just jump to no shit like that. Like, when we meet, we got to talk it out. And, but I'm sorry, y'all. Stop. I'm going to edit all this out. So, um, after that, you know, we texting all that. Thinking I'm going to Dave and Buster, this nigga brought me to his house. To his house. Then, y'all, I'm dumb because when I'm when I had met him that night, the next day that night, he picked me up from my other mama house and I was scared, girl. Bitch, we had to sleep in his car. We slept in this nigga car because his mom was home. He so called and said that was his apartment, but his mom was up in there. We couldn't go up in there. So, he parked around the corner from his apartment complex, and we he, he fell asleep in a fucking car, bitch. He slept in a car. We slept in a car. Then we walked up. I, tap, I fell asleep, too, like a dumb bitch, because I don't know where I was at for one. I didn't have nobody come pick me up, so I had to sleep in a fucking car. That shit was so ridiculous. Like, I don't know what was going through my head, but everybody do some fucked up shit. Everybody got to go through something. Everybody did something. So, that's all I had in my mind is like, okay, this is your first experience. Like, you you get an order. You're going to go through a lot more. So, I'm like, oh, my God. Fell asleep. Ain't nothing had no sex, no kissing. He tried to touch me. He tried to do a little kissing and try to touch me. He tried to buy me some liquor or whatever. I took the liquor, but, you know, I was going to take that liquor. But, you know, I made sure I was like, oh, like, I know what's going on. Because you ain't finna get me drunk and do anything to me, to this girl, period. So, after that, that morning, I tapped him, woke him up because he was in a fucking car. So, um, let me restart it tonight. So, um, I tapped him and woke him up. It's like, okay, now nah, can we go in your place? Because your mama should be gone. He was like, he, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, we drove back around the complex. He, we went in, we, he parked, we went in his apartment, whatever. It was, I think it was his apartment because it was plain. Like, real plain. Like, his, it was just like. Real plain, you know, when you're a dude and you have an apartment, y'all don't put everything in there like a female. Y'all just leave the sofa, the TV, and the bedroom. That's it. Y'all don't decorate it. So, I think I think it was his. Because if it was his mama's, he would have had it decorated or whatever. So, after that, um, don't get me wrong. He was cute or whatever, of course. But, he was fucked up in the head. So, once I woke him up out the car, I couldn't really get no rest in that car. So, because I was like, my, I was up, like, 
trying to figure out like okay if i close my eyes and get into deep sleep something might happen so i had to go to sleep wake back up like i had to stay up like stay on 10. so when we got in his house oop, my bad so like when we got in his house um i um got i sat on his sofa and he was like you know his clothes and stuff was on the sofa it was like he was just folding them or whatever or doing laundry or whatever he was doing i don't know so when i had sat on his couch he was like no you good you want something to drink or whatever i was not taking nothing to drink because i didn't know what the fuck was going on because i'm just ready to go home i'm looking at the time I can't text my friend she ain't texting back i'm like i'm just ready to go home so after that he was like come to my room I'm like oh my fucking god so i went in his room his room was real nice and clean or whatever he ain't have no cable you see so he was watching fucking the news so i'm like this is not my type Ugh, at all so after that i sat in his bed or whatever looking mugged up ready to go home he asked me what's wrong i'm like nothing nothing at all i'm just ready to go he was like why now whatever and then like he tried to get all touchy and stuff like that and i was like no like watch out like what is you doing like that shit is dead so he thought i was being booty he was like i can't touch you no he was i can't do nothing i was like no i'm ready to go home so he was like all right all right because he's what a guy he was gonna get me in that bed to lay down and like if i lay down just know i was underneath no cover or none of that it was just plain plain boring like bring me home i ain't doing nothing i ain't fucking with nothing bring me home so after that he was like all right man come on man like having an attitude and looking all moody in the car bringing me home and i was like don't say nothing son like you know you say it was gonna be like this and you still fell for the same bullshit over again like i fell for it over again so i was like never again so he brought me home or whatever he was like you gonna text me and all that i was like yeah so he brought me home I had told my friend about it. I was like, never again, bitch. She was like, why? What happened? I told her. I was like, never again. So heads up for girls. When you meet a nigga across the river, don't fuck with him. Because he not what he say he is. Period. And he don't have what he say he have. Period. So, um, I got more to the story. Well, when I got home, I just stopped fucking with him completely, bitch. You know, he went on block. Do not disturb all that. So yeah, my next story time is going to be like tomorrow or the day before that. I got to make a schedule. And I'm going to tell y'all another story when me and my friend met these two guys. So yeah, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment below if you think I should do more story times. And uh, that guess all I got to say, guys. I don't really have nothing much to say. I just hope you guys enjoyed the story. And bye.